What's up, YouTube? American Money Income Badge. I with another reaction video, and today we got another Lucas J video. So this was um, you know, this is like a little part two, you could say, to this video, cause you know it's like a little response. The name of this video is Honeycomb sends Poor PF and Rilo Rodriguez a message after killing, after an affiliate killed his grandparents. Now, like I said inside the last video, you know, people that's outside of the streets, that's for, that's family with people who is in there, they should be off limits. But you know, people always gonna be pushing the um, limits. It's like you know, ain't really no structure nowadays when it comes to that. It just is like the wild west. Anybody get it? But anyways, um, before we even get into the video, make sure I go check out Lucas Day, bro. Got some real decent um, content. Be uploading like I say. You, you know, bro, just came mad consistent and stuff like this that he be posting, I would have never known if he didn't post it. So, without further ado, let's just get straight into the video. Is that Chris? What is good, YouTube? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's your boy Jay here, man. I'm back with another video, y'all. And today, man, we got another crazy video to talk about. Yes, y'all told y'all I'm dropping every day until the 31st of this month. And I don't think it's the 31st. So, yeah, I just lied. But, man, it seems like in today's classroom, y'all, we got once again, man, we got your boy Honeycomb Brazy on the roster, man. And pretty much he responded to the whole situation of, you know, the four guys being charged. And he had a message to send the 4PF and Rollo Rodriguez in general. Now, before we get into this crazy video, because I really don't want to make the video too long, y'all just hit that like button, man. And also smash that notification bell so that y'all can be notified anytime I drop a video. And I can just keep y'all updated on this whole situation in general, bro. Y'all got me? Now, basically, man, what we got going on, man, as I just said, y'all, Mobile, Alabama rapper pretty much responded to his grandparents getting, you know what I'm saying, they like taking, you know, four people being charged with it, and he had something to see into 4PF and Rollo Rodriguez. Now, to give y'all a little rundown, man, um, y'all don't know, that boy Honeycomb Brazy is currently incarcerated. But before he went to jail, you know what I'm saying, sadly, in Mobile, Alabama, his hometown, matter of fact, the, the side of the town we grew up on with Happy Hills, um, pretty much some guys, um, Kane pulled up in his grandparents' house, literally, and they let some shots off into the house, hitting, I think, I think they got hit by the gunfire, and then it triggered, like, um, some, some sparks, and the house burnt down also, and yeah, pretty much his grandparents, both of them, literally grandmother and grand, um, father, passed away, you know what I'm saying, um, their life was taken in the house beside them, got burned, now, it came out two days ago, and they pulled up four people and four people got uh, charged with the whole situation one being like a, a known guy in um mobile alabama like a, a look pen and also one being some dude named darren Watkins, if i'm not mistaken and then one of them being jamarcus chambers which is rollo rodriguez homie and he happened to be like a 4pf affiliate now pretty much um honeycomb brazy had already said some things about rollo rodriguez saying that you know his music hard but you know he don't rock with him because he hang with too many quote unquote rats. No, no, I I for count, but you know, it's a little incident how you know, and people I got knocked out in the county jail, you know, and they saying I sent it at home, you know, but I don't know how he feeling for real. But I for count though, like count count silent, count real, you know. But right low, we you know he rap, he got good music and shit like that, but. He be fucking with too many rats. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, I ain't talking about little baby now. I'm talking about niggas out of mobile. Like, all of them ran, you know? So I don't really too to be kicking right on like that, you know? But he, he alright. He alright. But now he's he, he tripping. He tripping, though. No, he pretty much um put up some on his story with a post in the league and said, and he said this, and he sent a message to 4PF and Rollo Rodriguez with this one. He said, I ain't got nothing against 4PF. But all money ain't good money. And that little miggot <laughs> playing dumb. That boy ain't got no morals or principles about himself. I don't respect it. Aretha Franklin couldn't make me respect it. And y'all will feel the same if them was y'all people. Hashtag brazen on the way back. And he said, how you respect the person that bring a hundred rats around? And pretty much he was talking about, you know, um, them respecting Rollo Rodriguez if he hang with quote unquote. And he was saying that, you know, 
Rollo Rodriguez playing dumb, knowing the whole time that that man, you know, hang with snitch, because y'all don't know in the streets, that's just one of the biggest things, like, you can't be a snitch and you can't be foo-foo, like, that's the biggest thing out here, like, yeah, that's just what it is, and he also had put up this video. Excuse me, Father God, why, I need a favor, like, straight up, if I ever go to sleep, hang on oh. the now a lot of y'all probably like what's the point of putting this video like what is this proving now y'all a lot of y'all may know this because he dropped that song freestyle and it was like a seven minute him just like just straight freestyle it went viral well pretty much man um in that video if y'all didn't see it that's the market chambers yes that's the 4pf affiliate that has something to do with the shooting or oh, Rollo Rodriguez, home. I ain't gonna say 4 p.m. Yeah, that was him in there singing and dapping them up. And he pretty much reposted that and said, It be the same Eagles who you thug with from the streets to the cell block with, ate out the same bowl with, who be responsible for your grandparents' death. Shake my head. You're wearing $148 pants. Impressive. Fatletics men wants to know how we can make. You can't trust nobody these days. Cross game come a million ways. Hashtag that's why I don't F with these rap eggers. They were supporting the P Igger switch up for a rat and some money. Now, as y'all just seen, man, because you know, if y'all don't know, um, Mr. Honeycomb Brazy went to jail, um, previously before that due to a self defense charge where he had to take somebody's life, sadly, man. And that man was literally in there singing his songs and all that. And it turns out that he may have something to do with the whole grandparent situation. Now, that is crazy, man. And if that is true, they switched up for some money. That's the prime example, man. When I say money, that's why they say the love of money is the root of all evil. And I and I understand that, man. Because money can make a person change his morals and principles and do things he don't usually do, man. And it's like, all money ain't good money. Like, And I'm saying that in the way it's, bro. Even me, myself, like... It's certain things I can post on YouTube, but it's just like, bro, it's not that deep. I'm not finna Like, the views ain't that worth it, you know? And I know this may suck, bro, because, like, bro, imagine your grandparents getting, you know, killed. And then you, not only are you now in jail, you, you battling with the streets, but it's somebody that you was cool with at one point in time, you know? And that sucks, bro. And I'm happy that he cleared it up with little Baby, you know what I'm saying? Because people were thinking that he would be for him, and I already knew that. But I ain't gonna lie, man. Rollo... <sighs> I mean, what can Rollo really do, man? You know what I'm saying? Um, he haven't responded to the situation. Man, I know this just sucks seeing that happen, man. And then the guy that was charged with it also, the, the man, I think his name is like um, Darren Southall, if I'm not mistaken. He was like a known member. And I didn't even know that they was had some things going on in the streets, you know, because I don't really get into that, man. But it turns out that, you know, uh, people were saying that the reason why they were beefing was because when I told y'all he fought that previous case, that was his nephew. So... He was even calling him a rat, saying that, you know, he put money on his head the whole time, you know, um, he was the biggest snitch in the city, you know what I'm saying? And it's just crazy, man. And Honeycomb Brazy even got shot, bro. He got shot in the head, you know what I mean? Um, and he got shot eight times in general, man. So, this whole situation is crazy, man. I know it's sucking on that he in jail, bro, but that's what happened when you were in the streets, bro. No, no love come from it, man. The main thing is three things in the streets, man. Jail, death, unloyalty. Man, snakes, like, it just, it's the devil's playground. You can't win in that, you know what I'm saying? And it just sucks, man, to see that because that's what's being, you know, praised right now. That's what all the females want. They want street guys, and that's what the music, that's what people want to hear. If you ain't talking about that, then you lame and you not on that. But it's just, it's it's like a, it, it's, it kills like AIDS, bro, for real, man. But I'm hoping that his situation get better and that he be able to, you know, um, heal up and, and, and what you call it, cope with it, man, because I know it sucks, man, because he just lost his little brother also, man, so, to cancel, so, it's tough, man, but y'all give me y'all thoughts and opinions about this in the comment section, and let me know how y'all feel about it, man, it's your boy, Lucas J, thank God for another day, y'all be safe out there, I love y'all, man, God love y'all more, and yeah, bro, I'm out, man. All right, y'all, that's the end of the video, and last thoughts is just... Y'all can't be too friendly these days because it be the same homies that you got that you so locked in with that. And, you know, they made it cool to backdoor people nowadays that's, that you cool with. So it's, it's just not, it's, it's always good to just keep your circle small. So when some BS do happen, you can just completely remove yourself from the situation. But anyways, make sure y'all go check out Look at Day and make sure y'all um, share this video. Turn on post notifications so y'all can be notified whenever I drop new videos. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll tune in with y'all the next time. Peace.